Good evening and welcome to Tuesday's programme. We start with an exclusive. A stem cell bank in Nottingham says one of its samples has proved its first ever match for a potentially life-saving transplant. The cells are expected to be flown to the Middle East to treat a teenager with a genetic disease. Well, let's go live now to our health correspondent, Rob Sissons, who's at the Nottingham Science and Technology Park for us tonight. Good evening, Rob. Good evening. Welcome to Future Health Technologies. If you think it's cold outside, well, this is minus 196 degrees Celsius, where the stem cells are stored. There are many thousands of them. They've been doing it for years here. But this is the first time that a collection of stem cells from a baby has proved to be a match. And the person that they offer the best hope of a cure to is a 14-year-old boy who lives in Jordan in the Middle East. Umbilical cord, not the prettiest thing to look at, but it's the stem cells it contains that are so precious. And that's why families are banking them. They hope they'll make a world of difference. 30,000 samples are stored at Nottingham's Future Health Technologies. And the company says it's got its first match for a 14-year-old boy in the Middle East who has the genetic condition, Franconi anemia. This is a very significant development for our organisation. We've collected 30,000 samples so far from uh, several different countries and to have the first one up for release for transplantation is extremely exciting. The stem cells originate from the boy's sister born last month. They'll be flown from Nottingham to Jordan for a transplant at the King Hussein Cancer Centre, though no date's yet set. We don't really know. I mean, we're probably looking at now eight to ten weeks away before the transplantation takes place. Once the sample's received, it's in their capable hands. They will carry out the checks that are required. Paying around £1,500 to bank stem cells for many years isn't without critics. Some say the chances you'll ever need them are so remote, they question whether it's worth the money. Well, this is what a stem cell sample looks like. The blood from the baby's umbilical cord, usually thrown away, of course. It comes at a price, all of this, though, this insurance policy. It costs about £1,500 to keep them for 25 years. Roger Dainty from Future Health. Is it money well spent, that? Critics say it's an insurance policy you'll probably never need. Well, it's certainly uh, an insurance policy. If you do need it, it's well worth it. In this particular case, where we've got this uh, child that is very, very poorly, um, clearly this was money well spent. And I think as time goes on, we're going to see more and more of these samples, unfortunately, released. There's a high chance this condition may become leukaemia. This, you believe, offers him hope of a cure. A stem cell transplant has been done many times successfully for this condition. Yes, for this Franconi's anemia, this is well practiced, and this is a complete match. So we are very, very hopeful and very excited about releasing this sample. Well, fingers crossed. Your business actually relies on international trade. I gather you were caught up in the recent uh, terror alert at the East Midlands Airport with that parcel bomb. Uh, found. You, you actually uh, uh, had problems with some of your orders, did you? Yeah, the, uh, the samples were delayed for a few hours. I mean, fortunately we got them back and they were in time to be processed. But it is a race against the clock with your business, mm. isn't it? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, well, well, thanks very much. I, and I guess some um, stories like this really prove, don't they, that uh, the world is an ever smaller place these days. It is indeed, Rob. Well, thank you very much for that.